modified uses. There, there's two primary things with a, with a zoning, an overlay zoning district. It's going to modify uses. What are the land uses allowed in that district? And then we'll have standards. Uh, what what buildings have to look like, landscape, and more like that. As far as the highway <coughs> uses go, basically what was limited in those as not being allowed uh, were the heavier types of uses. Uh, you can see on the screen here. Uh, heavy equipment sales, mini warehouses, manufactured home lot sales. Why these uses are fine for the city to have, the, the point is maybe these uses aren't appropriate as the main visual entryway into the community. To have all these uses as what, when you drive through the community, uh, 67 is, is the, the biggest look and feel that you have from the community. As, as citizens drive through, as tourists drive through, the whole look and feel of the community is really determined by 67. So what type of uses should we be allowing to go right within that narrow band that people are judging the community by? Why, uh, all these uses are good uses to have because you need heavy equipment sales in many warehouses. Maybe the best location for those are just not right up along the, right up along the highway. And so we've established a list of uses here and that, that, that is in the uh, draft. Um, these are recommended by an SUP. An SUP is a special use permit. Uh, the uses that we just looked at, those would not be allowed. These uses are subject to an extra level of scrutiny, uh, making sure that we, uh, for instance, if we had an amusement park, making sure that that amusement park is, is uh, compatible with the surrounding uses uh, that are next to it. Now, uh, in some situations they may be, in some situations they may not be. But that's why it's an SUP. It's to allow for some uh, someone to look at it and say, rather than saying, in all cases, this isn't allowed, maybe in some cases it is okay. And it is uh, in agreement with uh, the surrounding uses. So we have some uh, uses that we will limit by an SUP. Uh, then for the Paluxy River, uh, for the same type of intent, we were trying to focus on what type of uses would uh, function well because we have a very eclectic area along the Paluxy River, different types of uses, things of that nature. So what type of uses would we want to uh, prohibit? Once again, they were, the, they were the more intense type of uses. And I should note that all residential uses, single family, uh, these overlays don't apply to them. So, so if it's a single family issue, uh, <laughs> the overlay doesn't apply to it. Only, only applies to multifamily and not. Um, and then once again, we have some SUPs. We have a few extra SUPs with the uh, Paluxy River. Once again, just noting that some of these uses, while they may be okay here in the district, uh, maybe there should be some, some uh, adjacency issues that may have to be addressed. Excuse me. Is yes, it okay to ask a question? Uh -huh. Yeah. I um, lost track of the meaning of SUP. Oh, SUP is a special use permit. Uh, in your zoning ordinance, basically you have a lot of uses or, or businesses that are listed out and it's in a chart and it says whether this use is allowed or not allowed. And there's a middle category, which is the SUP, which says the business may be allowed as long as it's compatible. And there's some criteria in the zoning ordinance, okay. making sure that it, uh, for instance, one of these uses, amusement park, it may not, uh, depending on who, what type of amusement park you would be talking about, Maybe it's not appropriate next to residential uses, and you know, so you'd have a public hearing. You know, people, just like we're having now, the people who'd be next to it would be notified. They could come out and say, "Well, I don't like them using the park next to me because it's my it's my house." And so, but in some cases in the district, maybe it was just next to all uh, businesses, which no one would mind. Okay. So that, that's what the SUP is to allow for some flexibility, rather than saying simply no. You Thank, can't you. Have it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, development standards. What type of development? Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. You, yes, sir. you mentioned single family residences mm -hmm. and did not comment on apartments. Would you comment on apartments? It, it does. It does uh, these standards would, would be applied to multifamily developments. The, the only developments that are exempted are, are single family, single family uses. So your, your traditional single family home. Are, are you saying that the uh, no apartments? Um, we did not, we did not take out, uh, apartments. They, they would still be allowed. And what are you? Uh, okay. 
on, on the wall, we have a zoning map. And this is a little bit, uh, yeah, okay. so anywhere where there's yellow, or well, yellow is single family. And then when you have uh, the orange or the brown on that map, that's where multifamily is allowed if you consider duplex multifamily. So we're talking about this area right here, out right here, apartments? Oh, um, well, everything outside the city limits right now, that zoning wouldn't apply for that. What? Orange is what, B1? Uh, orange is R, R2 or R3. Uh, there's a couple, there's oh. not too much zone for it. It's zoned on the south side of the city, and I think there's a few pockets just just, uh, just to the west. So of where are these 10,000 employees are going to be building the plant? Where are they going to live? Out here in the outlying areas? Or? behind these cedar bushes and trailer houses? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question, because as, That's as what you, they did last time, place was a mess. And that was one of the things we talked about in the conference of plan. And, and I'll make this a short little sidetrack here. Um, as the city grows and, and the uh, power plant's expanding, adding two new reactors, uh, where are all the people going to live? Uh, some of them will live here in Glen Rose. People will still live in Cleburne or other areas and just commute. Uh, on the future land use map in the conference of plans, we just identified all areas as future residential, and we were going to allow that the decision to make it multifamily could be decided later, because we established the residential areas in the conference of plan, which well, I don't have that map here with me, but we established those areas, and, and they do go out and cover the area just outside the city limits. So, but. As far as what those areas would be zoned, they're just they're just not zoned now. They would have to be annexed into the city, and then the, the pansy would have to recommend a zoning, and the council would have to adopt it. Or non annex into the city, state, and the county. Yeah, you could you could non annex into the city and just uh, build in the county. 